In this episode, we install more solar, we go on a night dive together and we face another loud thunderstorm. First, this is me, Kim. There is Bart and here is Liz, our little explorer. We sold everything to explore these beautiful places with our tiny 33 foot sailboat, Tranquility. Last week, Liz and I went on an adventure on the pedalboard. We had a taste of Curacao, enjoyed the underwater world and faced our first storm here. We will install another solar panel to keep up with our energy consumption because as a liveaboard we have a small amount of battery capacity. Grand of Alonce is helping us out with the reinforcement of the Bimini, where we will place the solar panel. What we need to do now is we need to get double-sided seaming tape and we stick this to the fabric where exactly where we want it so that when I stitch it, it doesn't move around. So that holds it on the fabric, so when we stitch it, it's nice and flat and taut. So that's right. what we're going to do next. Sounds good, Double solid tape. Just want to check this is absolutely bang on accurate with that solar panel. In terms of length, if we, uh, if you just hold that up, does that go directly to that corner? Yeah? Okay. So you're happy with that, eh? little small things and they're gonna go through the hole we just made. Put this little jobby on top. Done, boys. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, Grant, for no your worries. help. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. The strategy is this is an extra piece of fabric which we don't use normally when sailing. So at anchor, we have I think the perfect angle for this. Panel. Yeah, it looks very nice. It looks pretty um, good. But we, when we're sailing, we need to ditch the panel, and uh, we have a 33-foot boat, so we decided to put the same mounts on top of the bimini. So we can unhook the solar panel, put it on Perfect. top of the bimini, and while sailing we have still got some solar. Perfect. A bit of shade yep. maybe from the radar, but nice to have the better option. than nothing. Nice yeah. to have the option. Yeah. Excellent. Great job. All right, so next is, uh, for me, it's got to be the wiring. Yeah. Yesterday, with the help from Grant from Allen Z, we mounted the connection pins uh, on the solar panel and on the bimini and uh, uh, extendable piece of fabric of the bimini. Uh, so we can put our flexible solar panel in place and today I'm busy with the wiring of the solar panel so I have these um, through holes to get the cable in into the boat um, these are stainless steel uh, very simple You have like a screw cap that comes off and then a piece of rubber with a conical design which will go in here and it's also conical. So all you need to do is put the cable in to the hole and you screw this down and it puts some pressure on the conical 
rubber and it squeezes itself tight with a leak free uh, connection. But we need some uh, butyl tape or uh, Sika Flex on this side to get it watertight as well. And free, free screws. We already got these connections on the back side of the boat, but the rubber is gone, it's very old, and no cables are in there anymore, so there's a lot of Sika Flex in there. So what I'm gonna do is, these are the exact same ones, I'm gonna replace them. Um, you can actually mount them on the cable before uh, actually drilling the hole and put them on. So that's what I'm doing now. So I put the end of the cable. First comes the screw cap. So I put the screw cap on. The cable goes into the boat like this. So that's very important to understand. So this side will be the outside of the boat and this will be inside of the boat. So this one will go on here. But don't forget your rubber. The rubber needs to be in the conical piece. So it needs to be on here like so. Uh, to get the rubber on the cable, very easy. I use some Vaseline, uh, just a little bit inside of the rubber. You don't want it on your all the way on your hands because then it's very difficult <laughs> to grab the cable because it gets very slippery. And let me think, yeah, this way round. Alright, it's a snug fit. It's the hole is made for this size cable, so now because of the um, lubricant is in place, it's easy to slide it all the way on. The only thing is I don't know how far I have to go, so I think this is good. And now we put on the last piece. Remember, stick it in like it goes into the boat. These cables already come with a MC4 connector on the ends, so that's why I'm running the cable already through the... Um, through the inlets to the boat, uh, because this one otherwise I have to deattach it and mount it again. So, And then you will end up with the piece that comes against the hull, then the conical rubber one, and the cap you just twist and turn. And if you pull that tight, it's a complete watertight seal. Cables are connected. Running down. All my cables run aft and into this locker. I put a new, I still had a 7510 MPPT. Some power, as you might be able to see here, 14. So now, and I disconnected my other solar panels so I can see. What's happening with my new one? Now it doesn't give anything because I don't have a fuse in yet. And it's working. Bard and I have a chance to go diving in the night. The sweet manatees are again willing to babysit Liz while we dive. Liz really enjoys her time with them. Grateful for such nice friends.
Our dive spot for the night is the water factory. Because it is dark, we use the torch to see on the water. Something I never thought about is that the fish who are active during the day are now asleep. And they sleep on the reef. It is kind of funny to watch, but you do not want to disturb them. So when we spot one, we move away the light of the torch so we will not wake them up. Because that will make them disorientated. Also in the dark, the underwater world is fascinating. I have never seen so many lobster and moray. Yep, boat life again. Um, what are you doing Bart? Well, our faucet uh, didn't give any cold water anymore. So we take it apart. Um, this is the big difference between living in a house and on a boat. I mean, the matter of things breaking on a boat are just huge. In a house you will get like a faucet will work for 20 years and then something breaks. But on a boat, I think it's not designed for daily use. So everything on a boat, if you live on it full time, will break. A lot of things even within a year. So, so there's always minor boat jobs to do. So that's why I already unscrewed the faucet from the hose and we're gonna see what's uh, wrong here. For the first time I open up a faucet. Pretty amazing. Just to show you, there's this internal piece that's screwed into this into place here. And then if you turn this knob, it will open up. It's closing in there. So it's just closed the if you see there's a hole inside where the cold water comes from and if you turn the knob it will push it in turn in so the rubber goes up and some water can flow into the mixing valve this one pretty cool didn't know how it works so now we're gonna clean this entire thing because I think that's was the problem, it was clogged. It must be. Hey. This should be in there. And then there we go. Um, this one is important, it needs to be in here. Screwed in, and its faucet is open. It's 
screwed out. Faucet is closed. Knob, screw, test this. If I open up the cold water, do we have a flow again? <laughs> Job done. In the evening we visited some friends at their boat, but when the thunder increased we headed back to tranquility. A scary dingy ride. As you might know, I don't like thunder. On a boat, if the thunder hits it, all the electrical stuff will be ruined. Luckily it does not happen often. There is not much you can do. Some people unplug the batteries, but I don't know if it works. Maybe you can save some of the small electrical stuff like your phone by storing it in the oven. That is what we do. It is like some sort of cage of Faraday. Some boats even put steel cables overboard as a lightning rod. As a person you are safe on board as long as you do not touch metal, like our mast, because that will guide the electricity outside the boat. In the next episode, boat projects are on, but we also enjoy a fun dive to a wreck and we face a tropical wave. So the wind is blowing so hard, we are uh, healing on our anchor spot. Well, this was it. If you have any questions, please let us know. And for now, goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all. Thank you.